What's up, YouTube? It's Rico here, CEO of Source Fine Asia, co-host of Mainland China Podcast, and the host of the Source Fine Asia YouTube channel. Back with I'm another one, way. and uh, ironically, today I'm not actually wearing a, a suit, but you, you guys know how I do. I'm usually uh, usually out here with the three pieces of suits, um, and this video is about having custom suits made in China. <laughs> On the train, even if I'm standing all the way, I'm bored of summers. If you're there in the rain, dreaming, you won't believe it. Like when it feels new, but the old feelings run flows for the whole evening. If I kick ball, I'd score goals for the whole season. Let it run like watercolors. Walk down the road, and I thought of something. Real talk, I ain't talking rubbish. Been here for 24 summers. There's a lot to be happy for here. I ain't seen you in three or four years. Came to my show when it was more clear. What I knew then wasn't what I saw here. At the end of it all, you're more happy. They say that it's just the word, but your family. That makes my mum pleased too. You don't need me as much. This is a well known fact like clothing is cheaper in Southeast Asia. I think Hong Kong and Thailand are very famous and Vietnam as well but Hong Kong is very famous for custom suits and you know really high quality suits that are made for a good price I think one thing that people don't know is they think that the suits are actually made in Hong Kong they're made mostly in mainland China there's absolutely no way with Hong Kong's labor costs that you could get such a high quality uh, fabric suit and, and high quality cut suit made for the prices that they charge. On top of that, they just like when you go to those tailors in Hong Kong, they just don't have necessarily the facilities in-house to produce those suits. What you're really paying for in Hong Kong is you're paying for the quality control. So when you go into those suit shops, there's one called on Nathan Road, Chongqing Mansion. I'm sure if you guys have been there, it's pretty crazy. Like you walk down the road and there's like this giant, what's called Chongqing Mansion is like this giant like building it's got uh, it's got dorms. It's got little small hotels, hostels, and then on the first like one or two floors are just suit shops, suits, accessories, and all that stuff. And they have a bunch of sales guys that are out on the streets. And as soon as you walk down there, if you look like somebody that's never been to the area, or if you look like you know you were in a suit or whatever, they're gonna be like, "Hey, do you want a suit? Do you want a suit? Do you want a suit?" And everyone's gonna be grabbing at you. It's pretty intense you walk into one of those shops and once you get into a shop they're pretty nice very nicely laid out and some of the shops are actually places that famous people have gone to to have suits made so there's one store that i found four or five years ago and uh actually russell peters a uh, canadian comic he actually talked about it in his one of his stand-up specials i went to that place and, I, and there was a picture of him up in the store with this with the store owner and all that stuff so what I discovered is the suits are being made in China. So I live in mainland, so I go direct to the source. My original suit person was in Guangzhou, and then they closed down. But the best places to get suits made are typically in Shenzhen. So we have a suit designer, her name is Ada. She's been in the industry for like 15, 20 years, speaks very good English. And I've had, I'm not wearing it right now, like I said, but like if you've seen that gray suit that I usually wear that was made by her she's also made a lot of my custom shirts and they're very reasonably priced she has a huge selection of suit materials and things like that first thing is when you we would take a train to Shenzhen and I had uh, Vincent and Luke head over to Ada and the first step when you get there is she has a sort of lookbook uh, of swatches so you want to pick out sort of the material that you're looking for a good thing as well as if you have references for design so you can literally just go on Google, take a couple images for uh, design, cut, uh, material, color, whatever, and then you show it to her and then she'll know based off of that, she has like hundreds of swatches. She's gonna show you in the lookbook and say like, this is what I think you're looking for. This is what I think you're looking for. This is what I think you're looking for. And then you pick that out. And then from there, she will take a full measurement of your body for the suits. You actually do two fittings. You do the first fitting which is like the initial one and she's getting an idea of what you want and then you actually have to go back about a week later to do the second fitting. 
and, and when you do the second fitting she's gonna have like it's almost like a skeleton of your suit or shirt so and then it hasn't been sewn together but you have sort of like the general sizing and measurements and then she pins all of the pieces together to see if it fits you correctly the other part of that is if you are getting uh, shirts made and she doesn't have the suit material the shirt material in-house there are shops literally just down the hallway from Ada's shop and there's like this this one crazy shop that I went into and it was just like thousands of fabrics on on rolls and you just go there and you just kind of touch every single fabric and figure out which one you want if she doesn't have it in-house generally it's gonna take two weeks for a suit to be made you can have it made faster than that but you'd have to pay for an expedited process her pricing ranges if you're buying suits and shirts if you're buying just a suit if you're just buying a shirt and the material it's going to be anywhere between for a suit i think the minimum would be something like 150 dollars, maybe a little bit less than that you can negotiate and see if you can get like a suit and a shirt as a coupled package and then the shirts range from around 30 40 dollars for a custom shirt all the way up to whatever depending on the material that you're you're selecting with her and um, if you want to understand how granular it gets in terms of selecting your suits so after you've done the whole picking out the material and you've done the measurements she has a sort of document that shows you know the type of buttons that you want do you want four buttons three buttons two do you want to the suit to be double breasted do you want you know one button on the side or do you want three buttons on the side do you want to have your name like on my other suit i have my name etched in the middle of the of the, the inner jacket how many pockets do you want on the suit do you want a pocket on the suit like the size of the pocket like it's there's so much that you can go you can literally customize the suit as much as you want like even the size of the lapels do you want it to have this little uh cut in on the lapel here or not like all, even the length of them like it's it's very very customized so whatever you want she can have done and generally you want to find a tailor that has a lot of experience you want to find a tailor that has exported a lot and you also want to find a, a tailor that speaks English because for her to understand your requirements and for her to have worked with the amount of clients she's worked with over time that's the reason why she's been in business for that length of a time and in that same shop, the shopping mall, there are other tailors there. And I think once you find a good tailor and, and you have somebody that was recommended to you, you want to stick with them. And yeah, that's it. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, um, share with everybody. And I'll see you guys next week.